when you get into the Ten Commandments and, you know, Val Kilmer is Moses and, you know, you said Adam Lambert was in it. Now, obviously, that was at a time where nobody knows who Adam Lambert is. It was pre, it was pre, yeah, it was pre Adam Lambert, Adam Lambert. <laughs> right, right. Now, now, was there any rumbles or grumbles at the time about Adam and his, his potential? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I really? mean, if you read, like, if you read, like, the LA Weekly or whatever reviews of Ten Commandments, it's basically, like, the show's a mess, but this one guy and this one chick. <laughs> Occasionally, it was, like, I was okay, but it was always, like, this one guy, this one guy, this one guy. Right. Yeah, I mean, we all kind of, you know, I mean, we all, you know, I mean, the minute he said he was going to audition for Idol, I remember he went to San Francisco for the audition, and I was like, what, you know, what are you seeing, Bohemian Rhapsody? Okay, it's done. Like, it's a wash. You're going to win. Right. And then I sort of was with him through that whole process. A bunch of us were, but I can remember, like, picking songs for the week and, you know, and going through and then going to the finale, and he performed with Queen at the finale, and I knew then, I was like, this, he is going to be, he, they're not letting him go. Right. And, you know, he didn't win. We were pissed. My friend, like, lit a cigarette in the Nokia theater, and we walked out, like, in, like, a rage. Um, and then the guys from Queen literally were, like, at that point wanted him to come join the band. And he said no. He wanted to try his, you know, his solo career. And and we were all like, okay, okay. Oh, yes, we support you. <laughs> it was, you know. But I think we all knew at some point he was going to, he was going to be with them. And I just went the other night. It was his 10th year as their front man. And he's just, he's so incredible. He just gets better every single time I see him perform. He's better. You know, so would you say that you're like, I I don't want to say BFFs because it's so cliche, but are you like BFFs with Adam Lambert? Oh yeah. I have been BFFs with Adam Lambert since we were 22. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's that's 20. 20 years of BFFness. No, yeah, I gotta say, I mean, right? I gotta say, one, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> two, right? I love Queen, right? I love everything yeah. that is Queen. I love Freddie Mercury. I love all of that. But I gotta say, right? As much as I'm not a huge fan of people stepping in the, I don't wanna say shadow or in the shoes of, you know, iconic front man like that to like take yeah. over. Um, Adam does do a hell of a job. He sure does. He does a hell of a job. I yeah, mean, nobody's ever going to sing like Freddie, right? Like no, and just... nobody, nobody. I, I think that you know, especially Adam doesn't expect that, but he yeah. he has created his own home there, and you know, you can really tell that the guys just love him and let him do his thing, and it's 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 a beautiful. It's been a beautiful process to watch. It's oh, I mean, yeah. it, it's always been. Um, there's always a moment where you're like, what? is happening like how is this the thing you know and even though you know even though he will you know it, it, this is not a slight towards adam in the least but you know he'll never sound like freddie nobody will ever sound like freddie right but i think he really embodies the spirit and the theater that freddie yes. would have if freddie was still around yeah and i don't think he wants to sound like freddie you know again like he said no he wanted to sound like adam and he has always been really clear that, you know, he will never, nobody will ever replace Freddie or, or right. even fill his shoes, but that, but he's created his own, you know, his own moment there. And it's just beautiful and amazing. And he's amazing and ridiculous. And just, <laughs> he's just so fabulous. So he did Idol in what? Oh God. That he did thousands? Idol. I don't even remember. Sorry, there's a garbage truck that's about to drive by. Just if you can right. hear it. No problem. Um, LA living. He, he did Idol in... God, I don't even know. Two, I just looked Ten it up. Commandments it was... was 2004, so it was like, what, 2005, 2006? Uh, it, from what I just looked up on my desktop right in front of me, it said 2009. Oh, that's right, because he did Wicked first. Yeah, so... That makes sense. And then I went oh, to The okay. Void in 2016, and he was there through that whole process with me. It's very, it's very strange. Yeah. So very strange what, times. 